is Adriana Ruiz Flores and today we are going to talk about how to stop momentum. This is five minutes with Adriana and we're going to talk about three tips for stopping momentum. Well, the first tip, what is momentum? You have to identify what is a momentum. And we're going to use a very simple example. When you are driving and you will try to stop your car, if you are driving very fast, you are going to get in difficulties to stop the car. That's momentum, okay? You are driving fast and you want to stop the car, so you're going to and you're going to be difficult. If you're driving slow, the momentum is going to be a little bit slow. So the first thing is you have to recognize what is a momentum, and that applies for everything. That was a really simple example, but momentum is any situation in your day and you have in a situation that you don't like or do you do like and that's the momentum that's what is going on so usually we focus on the negativity so what we are going to learn right now is number one identify that you are having a momentum so number two you have to stop that momentum but you have to understand first that you cannot change from one state to another imagine that this is a ruler or a pencil or whatever and here is happiness and here is sadness here is health and here is sickness. Here is um, depression, and here is, I don't know, action, okay? So what do you have to do is, first of all, you have to understand that you have 17 seconds to feel a little bit better. That's your objective. So number one, identify what is a momentum, okay? That you are passing through a bad momentum, that we want to stop. So number two, you have to stop momentum and you're going to try to find a better feeling from where you are. You cannot jump from here to here. So the, the, the point is to start trying to focus in something that is going to make you feel a little bit better. So if you are depressed, your objective is to get out of bed, you know, and you have 17 seconds to reach out that point and then another 17 seconds to reach out that point and how did you do that well you have to take a deep breath you acknowledge that you are in a bad moment you have to stop momentum so you're going to close your eyes or you're going to take a walk or you're going to look at the sky and feel the breeze and whatever you need to do to make yourself a little bit better and my recommendation is to try to focus in general stuff if you are very upset, if you are really, really angry with someone, try to focus in something that gets you a little bit of peace. So maybe you can, um, maybe you got, you have to think about something stupid. Just think about an ice cream or something like that. And then the ice cream, the ice cream is going to take you to another momentum of um, maybe with chocolate or maybe with cajeta mm, or maybe with uh, some chocolate on the top. And then you're going to start, yes, as simple as that. You have 17 seconds to switch that momentum. So tip number two, stop momentum. You have 17 seconds, only 17 seconds. Those 17 seconds will take you to another 17 seconds and then that will take you to another 17 seconds and then you're going to start feeling a little bit better a little bit better and tip number three it's not enough if you do it just once remember that every single day has 24 hours and every hour has 60 minutes and every 60 minutes you have 60 seconds in it ever i mean it's a lot of time it's a lot of emotions it's a lot of things going on in your life so what you need to do is you have to stop momentum every single time that you need to focus into god in, into good feeling emotions into a positive thinking so it's not enough if you do it once maybe you have to do it 20 times in one hour at the beginning until you get into yourself in consciousness of how is it to feel good? And when you feel bad, then you know that you don't want to feel like that. So you stop momentum. So maybe at the beginning it's like 50 times in one hour and then it's going to be 20 times in one hour and then it's going to be every two hours or whatever your body, your mind and your soul needs for you to be in alignment. So this was five minutes with Adriana, three tips to stop momentum. Number one, recognize which is a momentum or what is a momentum and number two stop the momentum you have 17 seconds to stop that momentum and number three do it as many times as you can do it as many times as you can as you have to to feel yourself a little bit better so thank you so much and see you in the next one